majority of my time outside. And for me, that is exactly how it should be. Especially since the days are getting shorter now, I try to be outside as long as I possibly can. This is why I wanted to share the glory of it all with you. It is, after all, what most of my energy goes into. While thinking about how I wanted to, like, how I wanted this video to turn out, I realized that simply showing does not really portray accurately what um, makes it so beneficial and special for me to hike all the time. Therefore, I want to invite you to come and hike with us. And with us, that includes, of course, my team of hikers. And while doing that, and that being hiking, <laughs> let me introduce you to our hiking group. Head of the pack is Wispy. Wisp. And I'm not sure the other dogs would agree, but I am certain that Wisp sees this duty of chief executive as his own. Nonetheless, he is absolutely up for a game or two now and again with his apprentice Rocky, and he loves cuddles, love, appreciation, as any other dog would too. He also has a soft spot for water, although this is a very different kind of love for water than what Freya's affection for water implies. But let me get to Freya later on in this video. So Wisp adores water, but Wisp herds waves, like he sees them coming and relentlessly, inexhaustibly goes after every single one of them. So, like the honorable duty it is for a deputy of the working force. <laughs> oh, and then there is Freya. Oh, Freya. A heart as golden as her breed indicates. She rarely ever leaves my side. When I have to count the dogs through to make sure that everyone is here, I never need to look for her. She will be right by my side, haunting and fishing for cuddles at almost any opportunity she gets. She was born in the wrong species though. She should probably have been born in the body of a sea dog, but something went terribly wrong, so now she's caught up in the body of a golden retriever. But that just means that she spends the majority of her time outside, not on land, but in water. She almost swims beside us the whole time whenever there is water or is in the ocean when there is no log available. Um, her better half is Bold and I introduced Bold already to you guys so um, he was in my last video. He never accompany accompanies us on um, hikes because he's too old. Hmm. Now let's see where we are with that hike, shall we? I'm coming. I know, I'm too slow for you. But I only have two legs. King. No. Rock. Calm down. Calm down. Stop barking. Very good. Let's go. Come what our next uh, member of our hiking crew has in common with Bolt is that he is more a puppy than a grown up. Um, Rock is, despite his height, strength, and endurance, uh, really more of a puppy. Um, nothing gives him more pleasure than playing. Maybe a little bit more pleasure annoying Wiz uh, for as long as it takes um, until Wiz would start um, playing with him. 
But apart from that, the distances he runs are just unbelievable. And I'm always like stunned at the speed and impossibility of tiring him out is. Um, he is uh, absolutely gorgeous. And um, <laughs> he reminds me of a youth who wants to prove himself to the whole pack and his humans and his light blue gaze is so intense it immediately makes you fall in love with him and then there's glenn glenn came to be a part of the pack more than six months ago and i think he's a very very sensitive dog very shy um he's probably still warming up to his new home in piers uh, he has a submissive side, especially since Wisp does not stop um, uh, pushing him into his place. Um, yet his heart and soul are those of a working dog. Like he rarely ever stands still and he lives to work. Um, when we do like a leisure hike or a leisure walk, he still is determined to keep the pack together. Like running with huge circles around us all to achieve that. But I can also happily report that um, by now he also started to relax a little and enjoy a few sniffs, following some scent trails and uh, a good old rolling the stress um, relief treatment. Come on, Maji! Come on, baby! We're waiting! And then there's Marjorie. You ha might have met Marjorie already. I made a whole video just about her. It's called A Tribute to Marjorie. And I'll put it right up there if you want to check it out. Um, there is a lot to say about her and I love her to bits. And uh, if you want to spend a few minutes with her, just click on the link and enjoy. And that is our hiking crew. So let's see how far we've got on that hike. Have we made it to the top yet? And I'm not even at the top yet. So the top is probably another hour. It's the most rewarding thing to be able to see this view after a hike. But for now, I just enjoy the view. I hope you do too. It's truly glorious. Oh, thank you for hiking with me. It was a pleasure. See you soon, guys. We need to get going because rain is coming. Turns out, no rain after all, because the wind changed. It's one of the things I like the most about this country as well, is you never know what you get. You never know what you get, but either way, it's beautiful. It's just pure gorgeousness. That is a word, I don't know. But it's gorgeousness. So we still have half an hour to go, but that's perfect. Lovely hike, thank you for joining me again. Hi, Wisp. So now we're on to our favorite part of every walk. My hair looks like the Hebridean fashion and we are on our way back to the car which is there it is I think everyone's happy I am happy enjoy this unexpected sunshine a little more Then head back home for a little rest.
you soon guys hope you enjoyed the video bye